guys, what's up? So, thought I'd show you guys how to set a static IP address uh, on an OctoPi, OctoPrint, or a uh, Raspberry Pi. But yeah, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about this. Like some, you know, Raspberry Pi doesn't follow this typical Linux pattern of setting up a static IP address. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I actually had a lot of issues getting this, logging this thing first, because... Uh, like in the the instructions, the Octopi instructions, my wouldn't actually uh, respond. So I'm trying to ping in Octo Octopi. Right? No response. I'm actually also in a, in a Windows domain network, so that might create problems. But I could never communicate with this thing. You know, just by their instructions. So. So I had to get the dynamic IP address from uh, my firewall, and I'm actually running a Cisco ASA 5505 at my house, and uh, so I had to go to monitoring, and you need to actually go to the ARP table, or the DHCP server, whatever, that hands out the addresses, and it will give you a list of the uh, leases. So that's how I originally had found out my uh, internal IP address. You could also connect a monitor, a keyboard mouse to your Octo uh, Raspberry Pi, and it would, you could do an IP address, but so I, I've actually already uh, statically assigned these. But it was the the process was was interesting. It's different than your typical version of Linux. Um, yeah, I've been messing with Linux since like the late '90s, set up web servers. But yeah, it's definitely in, the, in a different location than you than you would think normally. So um, yeah, there was a lot of misinformation about that. So let me move that back over here. All right, so now that I got the IP address from the uh, ARP table. It might be called something different in your router, but with Cis in the Cisco world, it's the ARP table. Address resolution protocol. All right. Um, 2.6, I've already statically assigned it, but it might be something to whatever is on your, your default network is. Okay. And the username is maximize this. You can see it. Pi Raspberry is the password. So a couple different ways you can get the IP address on this thing. You can just type in IP ADR. That kept that list interfaces, and uh, as you can see, my I don't actually have a direct wire connected right now to my uh, to my Raspberry Pi, but you can see the 2.6 is the static IP address I just logged into. But normally this would be uh, this is the actual uh, the hard physical network card RJ45 plug, and that would be normally lit if it was plugged in, it'd be listed as ETH zero. So like I was saying earlier, this is in a weird location, so not your typical version of Linux. Um, so normally it's you'd be like in uh, Etsy directory, so I'm going to change directory, Etsy. I'm going to do an LS. And normally it would be under like, a, you'd be in a subfolder called network, and then you'd have your interfaces that you'd modify. But with this Raspberry Pi, it's I'm going to use nano as a text editor, and it's going to be uh, DHCP CD dot conf config. All right, so that's going to bring you up to this right here. So by default, this thing is dynamically set. And right here. So this will be actually commented out with hashtags. So normally you'd be, you'd see a bunch of hashtags in front of this, so you have to get rid of the hashtags, or it's not going to actually uh, activate the, uh, the function. So E0 is the actual uh, the physical hardware, the RJ45 plug. So I statically assigned that one 2.5. So if I ever want to plug in my, my direct wire, then I uh, I can do that. And then below that, it's I, I don't use uh, IP version 6, so I still have the hashtag in front of that. And then this is the uh, default route. So if you wanted your device to go on the internet, you need to have a, a, a default route or static route. And that's the router, that's the internal IP address of my uh, Cisco ASA. And then also if you want to go on the internet or email stuff or do whatever, you need to have DNS server set. So. So what you won't see is you won't see the wireless configuration here, a default for that. So what you can do is you can just copy all this. You can copy it, control C, copy that text. And what I did is I just went down to the very bottom of this page. And I paste pa I pasted the configuration. I just changed the, like normally this would be ETH0. So normally this would be uh, ETH0 because I just pasted it, but you need to change it to WLAN0. That's wireless LAN. That's the actual wireless interface on the, on the card. So and obviously change the IP address too. The hard wire was five and this one was .6. That's actually how I logged in, so. 
All right. Same thing. Default route. And I disable IP version 6. And then uh, hit Control Shift O to save. And then Control Shift Exit. And then just type in reboot. And that's it. You'll, your, your Raspberry Pi will reboot, and you'll have static IP address. So pretty basic. Um, let's see. So back in here, and I'm obviously connected to it. And I can control function. As you can see up here, 2.6. And uh, yeah, I, could, I mean, this might not be a problem for everybody, but because I'm on a Windows domain network, um, I had issues pinging my, getting my uh, you know, Octopi dot local. Oops, that's spelling. So also, it was weird. I don't know what, how, where it's getting this IP address from. It's, it's resolving a weird IP address, like a public IP address. So. Awesome, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. But uh, yeah, I didn't see it. There was a lot of misinformation because a lot of people thought you configured this the same way you would configure your typical distribution of Linux. Uh, but uh, that's it, man. Pretty easy. But uh, the hardest part was just finding where the configuration was. So, all right.